The rise of supermarkets after World War II was probably the beginning of a change of our diets, but, you know, even when I was growing up in the 1970s, most cooking would have been at home with freshly purchased products and the meal was made in the kitchen. That has changed significantly over, over the last 30, 40 years. And even in the last 10 or 15 years, we've gone from processed food to even more processed food and ultra processed food. And that's not good for our bodies, not metabolically and not for um, overweight and obesity. The stats on weight gain in this country are alarming. Two thirds of the adult population is overweight or obese. There's really no question that um, overweight and obesity is a big issue in Australia. At the same time, not everyone who's overweight or a bit overweight has problems. Uh, you could be healthier, in fact, and carry a little bit of weight. If you're exercising, if your metabolic status is, is pretty good, you can carry a few more kilos. But the combination of having overweight and obesity at the same time as not doing enough exercise and having long periods of sitting down, they are combined risk factors for those things like stroke and heart attack. Losing weight is never as easy as it sounds. A minefield of misinformation and countless fad diets often results in failed attempts to drop those extra kilos. I do think it's a pretty tricky landscape uh, in the weight loss space. There are lots and lots of diets that flash out in front of you and, and obviously pretty aggressive promotion. They're all trying to make a buck or influencers and others who are trying to uh, get fame and uh, followers from what they're promoting. If it looks too good to be true, it's probably too good to be true. And there are some that work because you lose weight quickly, um, but they are not sustainable. Developed by the CSIRO, the Total Wellbeing Diet is a scientifically tested and nutritionally balanced diet that's designed to help lose weight and keep it off. It's based on the best evidence around what foods are good for you, both in terms of maintaining a healthy weight, but also in terms of what that metabolic picture looks like. And so lower cholesterol, lower sugar, and less risk of diabetes and heart disease are all incorporated in the dietary recommendations of CSIRO's Total Wellbeing Diet. The individuals who choose it and who actually complete a 12-week program, they are well on track to um, lose weight and keep it off at about 8% reduction from where they started at one year. The CSIRO evidence is that if you engage in the program and if you're really uh, properly using the tools that are there to support you, you'll lose weight and you'll keep it off. Already, over 1.2 million Aussies have been impacted by not just another diet, but a long-term eating plan that's changing lives. Living a healthy life in your 50s, 60s and 70s is really about the way that you are able to eat and live well in your 30s, 40s and 50s. So I think that's a really useful reflection to have with a diet that you can sustain over the long term. Yeah.